My Kohler 20K generator is showing locked rotor engine will crank and try to start but then shuts down and throws code. When did you last clean or perform maintenance on your Kohler generator? How old is it? Generator is around 10 years old and has only actually made electricity to the home for a total of 2 hours. The rest of the 150 hours are from scheduled runs. I last serviced the gen set in May of 2020. How long has this been going on with your Kohler generator? What have you tried so far? Heard it run scheduled last weekend and didn't think it ended properly when it stopped but didn't check anything out at that time came time for scheduled sat morn and did not perform test. Anything else we should know to help you best? I have tried to start this several times and will not run. Hi, I'm sorry for this issue you are having. I know how frustrating this can be. Can you please provide me with the unit model number? 14 slash 20 resell. Okay, thank you. And you said it cranks fine before shutting down on lock rotor? It doesn't crank slow like a weak battery? No battery is good. It will try to run for about 2 seconds but doesn't sound like it is running on both cylinders before it shuts down. Okay chances are the controller is bad. Since you have the RESA model you have 3 newer controller and your generator doesn't not use a mag pickup sensor for engine rotation feedback like the much older controller. The controller you have takes rotation feedback from the back end. 90% of lock rotor fault on your style controller is a dead battery but you confirm the battery is good so probably need a new controller. The newer controller. Is there any way to test that part of the controller or bypass to see if will run? No there no way to bypass it. The controller is not sensing the engine is rotation, cranking, thinks the rotor is locked, seized. Like I mentioned on your model generator it gets that engine rotation signal from the rotor. It's possible the rotor could be damaged or the wiring, but I never seen one go bad giving lock rotor fault. Is always either a dead battery or controller issue. If you haven't updated the firmware in the controller in a while you can try that first. How do I update the firmware? I bet you are correct being the controller I had to install an external battery tender earlier last year because my battery would not stay charged, electrician thought it might have been hit by lightning. Yeah your controller has a built-in charger that takes 120 back from your house to power the charger. If you have 120 back available at the charger terminal on the generator then yes charger is bad. HTTP colon slash www.kohlerpower.com slash home slash USB slash index dot HTML. Thanks for your help. You can download the firmware from this website. Their controller you have is a DC2. On your controller there a plastic cover you screw off and you'll see where to plug in the micro USB cable. You need I believe a micro USB A to USB. If you replace the controller you'll need someone with the Kohler software to program the new controller. The controller you have sorry autocorrect messing me up. Hi, I hope everything is well with the generator. Generator started Monday it warmed up here I believe the carb was froze up. Wow that is weird. If it had an issue where fuel slash air was the problem it'll crank for 3 crank cycles and then shut down on overcrank. Guess cold weather make thing behave weird. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.